Are you looking at all the wires, Siri? Yeah? yeah? It's a lot of stuff. I get to put all this stuff on you, okay? Is that too tight or is it okay? Yeah, it's okay? <laughs> uh, I'm going to put some very goopy sensors on his head for his brain waves. Okay. It actually lets me know when he's sleeping and then the stage of sleep he's in. So is that the EEG? Yes, that's, okay. right. that's correct. Yep, the EEG. Um, I'll be putting them by his eyes, on his chin, and on his legs. Uh, that's for muscle movement. So that's EMG. EMG? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it was something like that. And then uh, heart is ECG or EKG, whatever mm -hmm. one you want So we do look at the heart rhythm as well. Uh, if he's snoring or talking, we'll have a sensor for that. Okay. I'll also be looking at his oxygen, because that'll be very important, uh, and then his carbon dioxide levels as, as well. Okay. How he breathes out of his nose and his mouth. So lots and lots of stuff. Yeah, because you know when you breathe, take a big breath and then let it out. And out. But do it again and then watch your, your stomach, your tummy, when it goes up and down. Yeah? So it shows me how you're breathing. Oh, oops, I'm sorry. You ready to go to sleep, Uriel? Yeah. Are you snoring, Uriel? Yes. Yeah, he's snoring? Yeah, he's snoring. Are you? He does it while he's woke. <laughs> oh, he does it while yes. he's woke. <laughs> oh, goodness. He has, um, I guess, like really large tonsils. So they're, I guess they want to make sure it's not a sleep problem before they remove his tonsils. Correct, correct. What about his adenoids and his nose? Did they say anything? They didn't about? check that yet. No? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a sensor that's gonna, you wanna touch it? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, you can touch it. And then tape. See, very simple. This is gonna go in the side of your throat. So go ahead and take two fingers and put them right here in your throat and go, Go do it again. Do you feel it? Pick up that snoring sound or the talk too. So when you, it's gonna, it's gonna show up on my computer screen, okay? Can I have you come sit a little bit closer to me? Here, thank you. And if you want to, you can face the TV, it's okay. There you go. <laughs> That's perfect, good. Okay, so uh, did the doctor mention anything about sleep apnea? Is that what yeah, you're um, about sleep? He had a surgery cold, okay? um, a while ago, um, a couple months ago, and he did what have sleep apnea. Do you want? It's just like a face scrub. You want to touch it? Yeah. Go ahead, touch it, and then rub your fingers together. It's like a face scrub that maybe like mommy uses when she washes her face. It probably feels a little cold, but it's just to clean. <laughs> These are where I'm going to put the goopy sen sensors, and it's kind of like uh, hair paste, like hair gel. You don't want to put it in your mouth, though. <laughs> it's like soap. It's like soap. <laughs> He's like, I want to taste it. <laughs> it's not edible, bud. <laughs> You want to touch it? It's a little bit uh, sticky. Okay, go like this. Don't put it in your mouth, okay? <laughs> you want to wipe your fingers on that, not on the bed. This is going to go right here on your forehead, okay? And then I'm going to put a piece of tape, kind of like a band-aid, okay? These are very special for you, Yuria, okay? So try to leave them where they're at. Try not to touch them, okay? If um, something falls off when he's asleep, um, I can recognize it uh, on the single signals on the okay. TV. So, 
something's off, I'll come in and fix it. Hey. I usually don't come in unless absolutely necessary, let okay. you guys sleep. But of course, something comes off, I gotta come in. Hey. Are you done with this? Yeah. Okay. Uh oh, you, you're gonna look like a superhero when you're done. Do you have body make stickers? I don't have any stickers, <laughs> but I'm sorry. This one I'm gonna put right here by your eye, okay? So that is going exactly. to also uh, repress the respiratory mm -hmm. system and make it worse. But that doesn't necessarily mean he didn't have it yeah. initially either. So you don't know until you actually yeah. are sleeping. <laughs> so, so we're not sure. Yeah. What I about just, you? Did you ever hear him stop breathing or breathe kind of weird? When he's sometimes when he sleep, he'll stop breathing. Okay. And I'll just like wake him up a little bit. And then he'll breathe. But yeah. he never notices like, it himself. Yeah, right? no. Okay. And then when he's woke, it sound, you know how you're, you're sounding when you're snoring? Right. Um, when he's woke, he has colorful wires on you. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it in the top of that, okay? This is a uh, conductive paste, it's not glue. So it, it's kind of like hair gel. Mm -hmm. it, it'll wash right on out. So, and it's not gonna pull any of his hair out, so you don't have okay. to worry about that. He just has to go take a shower. Okay. To get all the gunk out. I'll give you a washcloth, but I don't think it gives much justice to the goop. <laughs> But it is water soluble, but it feels really messy. But what do you feel? These are uh, sensors. So they take information from you to a computer, like a TV. And then they give her the data. And then it's so it doesn't So it doesn't do anything to you. You're doing something to it. Sometimes I find it kind of hard to explain to the, <laughs> the very little ones. <laughs> but as long as they know it's my shot, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> as long as they know it doesn't hurt, we're usually pretty good. <laughs> Does he have to have a cap over on top of that? No, I okay. usually don't do that. Usually they're pretty good. Has he had one done before? No, but my oldest son had the EEG done and they put a cap on top of that. Like when they put those on his head, right. they put the cap on top. Yeah, I, uh, I, we have some guys to do it and I have done it once, but I don't really find it really that necessary. And he's- He was younger good. though. He, I mean, oh yeah. Yeah, he was younger. And you know what? And your son probably had a lot more wires uh, uh, for the EEG wires. Mm -hmm. Uh, then what we do here, um, we, I mean, we do a lot, but there's still, especially in the hospital setting, they're going to do a lot more. And uh, depending on exactly what the EEG for, like, is, uh, for a seizure, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll be doing more as well. Okay. What positions does he, he's going to go right here, okay, by your eye, okay? Uh, what positions is he sleeping at home, Brianna? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's completely fine to sleep in most of the positions. Um, if you could just help me by keeping him off of his stomach. Off his stomach, okay. Yes, he can go side to side and back. It's just when they, uh, the little ones go to their stomach, they get wrapped up in the wires. Okay. And I just don't want him to get, get completely wrapped up. Most of the time, they're usually holding me or in front of me laying on their side or something <laughs> like that. So. Cuddled up with you, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, that sounds good. Do you know my um, two brothers? No, I don't. <laughs> it's Jadzo and Zuma. Oh. What, what is their names? Jadzo and Zuma. Zimmer and... Am I Zim hearing it right? Zimri. Zimri? That's and nice. And Jehaziel. And, and what? Jehaziel. Jehaziel. Oh, those are really nice. I'd have a hard time saying them, but I have a hard time saying those names. I found them in the Bible. and Jehaziel was supposed to be Jehaziel, and I couldn't pr pronounce it, and it was in the Bible too, so my mother was like, don't use that. She was like, can't none of us pronounce it. She said, <laughs> <laughs> she said don't use it. Don't use it. So then I used Jehaziel. It's nice. It's really nice. And then Uriel's name came out the Bible. So you have three boys, huh? No. No? We have six. 
Six boys. Oh, wow. Yeah. No girls? No. Oh no, what happened? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was asking the last three times. Yeah. Well, you can't really, well, well, I think eventually, I think they will be able to do the the gender thing, but. We got to take it off? Yes, in the morning. Let me do it. Because you see how these wires are connected here? If you disconnect it, if you pull it apart, you might break these wires right here. And then I won't get to watch any other kid. So let's keep it together, okay? Don't touch them. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you said a nine to six thirty, right? Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. So usually, uh, surgery is very successful for the kids. You know, it. You know, if. Yeah, I'm not. So I'm there's a surgery for this sleep apnea? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, you know, for kids, it's usually like their adenoids or, you know, for mm -hmm. your son's case, tonsils. And mm -hmm. so once they get them removed, it's typically that issue's re resolved. Yeah, his tonsils yeah. are really big. Every time a doctor looks, they're like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> they're probably kissing tonsils. Um, yeah, so for kids, you know, it's not so complicated, and usually surgery mm -hmm. takes care of it. Okay. Um, now it gets a little bit more complicated as adults. Mm -hmm. so not quite always the surgery that you get, you know, the solution. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it doesn't even work. Mm -hmm. So they'll still, you know, they'll still have sleep apnea. So adults, okay. they have to do, most of them, the CPAP treatment, the mask. Ariel, don't touch That's anything. very special. That's actually to show me how you breathe. So it's very special not to play with it, okay? Don't touch it, okay? These ones are at least gonna on your chin to see if you're when you're snoring the movement and then also oops <laughs> so can you sit up for me there we go bud to see if you're grinding your teeth oh yeah he there. does that too yeah could be related to the sleep apnea yeah. I know I usually try and like open his mouth or stop him from doing it he used to do it real bad when he was little. Especially well, when they're little too, like yeah. TV. Yeah, you know, usually when you're starting to get older, it's for other other causes. Let's put a big piece of tape on there, so that stays on. <laughs> there we go. Although this this room is dedicated to it with the carbon dioxide monitoring, mm -hmm. but mostly adults that we're seeing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna also put some one sensors on his uh, legs to see if he's kind of kicking and twitching his legs. It's okay. more for adults to see with the restless leg syndrome mm -hmm. or the periodic limb movements when uh, you're sleeping. Your uh -huh. legs can actually move. No, no, but I need to sit down. Wait, okay. sit back down. Can I have you sit down back on the bed? Come on up here. There you go. There you go. Good. Thank you, bud. Um, so yeah, mo mostly for adults, but we'll put them on here too. Right, that smells good. What'd you get? Four, five, okay. Three five, 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 five. No, 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 no. Can I put this on you right That's here? Okay. It's gonna might be a little cold. Okay. So what time should I expect to come back? Uh, you can come uh, around six twenty. Six twenty. Yeah, I'll wake him up around six. You gonna be here at that time? Yeah. yeah. I'll be here before you then. You said that so easily. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Oh, even go to sleep. That's even worse. <laughs> oh, yeah, you should get some rest. <laughs> Don't worry. He's doing such a great job. He's so brave. Sit down. Sit down. He was licking the, the face scrub, too. <laughs> You got right, what curious this taste, taste right? buds. <laughs> He's got curious taste buds. Uh. You do not want to taste that, Ariel. You, <laughs> you got caught.
Hands pillow? Huh? Comfortable? Huh? You, you need one more pillow? Better? Took my pillow. Took mommy's pillow.